The chapter over probability might not cover everything you need to know for the test. With that in mind, make sure you know the complement rule, multiplication rule, and addition rule for probability. And this does cover it somewhat, so let's start right here. When we think about flipping a coin two times, the sample space for what can occur would be all the events. We have heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails. Now, we can think about this problem a little bit more in depth on the next question. If we think if they're all equally likely, what is the probability of heads, heads? That would be 25%. And why? Well, heads is 50% and heads is 50%. Via the multiplication rule, we can figure out that the probability of heads, heads would be heads and heads, meaning 25%, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Since all of these are 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, they would all be equally likely. Which of the following is the sample space for the number of girls in a family? So we don't know the probability of a girl. And it says that there are three children in a family. Even assuming that it is a 50-50 chance of having a girl in a family, we would think that having no girls or all girls would be the least likely events. It's more likely you have one or two girls. If it is 50-50, we could do some advanced work here and figure out the probability. But think for a moment. If it is 50-50, what is the probability of no girls? Well, it would be the probability of boy, boy, and boy, which would be 0.5 to the third, because we're saying you have a boy, and you have a boy, and you have a boy. If it is 0.5, that'd be 0.5 to the third, and that'd be 0.125. Now, you might be asking, well, isn't this one right here, girl, boy, boy, and that's 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5? Yes and no. That is one of the events that can happen, that it could be girl, boy, boy, but it could be boy girl boy where the girl's in the middle or the girl could be the oldest so there are three ways it could occur right here making it 0.125 per way times three because there's three ways the girl could be the youngest the middle or the oldest so with that in mind right here this would have a probability of 37.5 this would have a probability of 37.5 because it's the same type of problem and this would have a probability of 0.125 this is assuming which the problem does not say a 50% probability of a girl or a boy. As we see here, it is least likely that you'll have zero or three girls, and most likely you'll have the middle if we put percentages to it. So going on to the next question, are these all equally likely? Nope, not at all. What is the sample space for flipping a coin until you get a tail or three consecutive heads? Well, when you get a tail, you stop. So looking at this right here, Right here we have a tails and we stop. If you notice, tails stop. Well, we could have went heads, tails, and then stop, or heads, heads, tails, and stop, or heads, heads. Now, the coin is a 50-50 chance. So what is the probability of getting tails? Take a moment and think. That's just 50%. What's the probability of heads, tails? What's the probability of heads? 0.5. What's the probability of tails? 0.5. That is 0.5 times 0.5, because we're getting heads and then tails. The word end means multiply. So 0.25. All of these have three in them. If you notice, this has three and this has three. So that's 0.5 and 0.5 and 0.5, meaning 0.125 when we multiply them all together. So right here we see 50%, 25%, 12.5, and 12.5. And when we think about this, we can use the addition rule right here to say, you could get this, or this, or this, or this, and when we add them all up, we get 100%. So to answer the next question, these are not all equally likely. Nope, not at all. What is the sample space for the larger number when two dice are rolled? So they're going to roll two dice and record the larger number. So what is the only way to get, let's see here, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. What is the only way to get one. Think for a moment. If we're recording the larger number, so we roll one and six, what would we record? We would record six. The only way to record one 
would be to get one and one. And there are 36 ways that dice can come out, the dice roll can come out with the first and the second dice. So with this in mind, there's only a one in 36 way that we will get one. But there's a lot of ways to get six, a lot of ways to get six. So these are not all equally likely. The next one covers a little bit of topics when we talk about probability right here. We do not want probability to be negative, and the set of all events must equal up to one. Also, probability cannot be over 100%. So it looks like this one could equal up to one, but it has positive and negative, so that's not gonna work. So A is definitely true. A would look like a wheel where the whole wheel is red. This is a wheel we're looking at with a spinny, we spin it and stop it, and the whole wheel would be red. With that in mind, 100% chance of red. B is impossible because the probabilities go outside of 100% and below of zero. Probabilities must between, be between zero and one. C is a wheel where all of them are equally spaced out. D is a wheel with a lot of red, a good bit of green, and only a little bit of yellow and blue. How about the last one right here? Uh-oh. The probability sum to over 100%. We can't have that. So once again, this problem, this set homework is pretty short. Um, with that in mind, make sure to get some additional work to go over to this chapter. It's generally pretty easy on the test. It's some good points to get with a little bit of practice. I would say go over the notes and try to do some additional problems if they are available to you. Good luck.